Well, welcome to uh, the Ostel Valley in the Austrian Alps, and I'm in the uh, fortunate position of uh, spending a couple of days with the US ski team. Uh, the main players in the team are actually over in uh, Italy and uh, in Switzerland doing the downhill, um, but we've got the, uh, the slalom racers here at the moment doing some training, and uh, well, as you can see here, this is the 16-year-old uh, skiing sensation, uh, Michaela Schifrin. Uh, she got a bronze medal uh, earlier in the season, one of the youngest US skiers to do so for many years. And uh, well, it's fascinating just watching them training here, the amount of effort they put in, the amount of work they put in. And uh, as you can see, we've got some pretty good conditions for it now. Uh, it was a little bit icy earlier on today, which obviously is good for racing and uh, softening up a little bit as the uh, the sun comes round. Uh, I had a uh, chat with uh, Michaela on the chairlift yesterday. We'll be hearing a little bit more about that in another video on Planet Ski later, one of our uh, chairlift chats. And there is another feature story up on Planet Ski at the moment about the team and about why they're here. Uh, it's primarily because most of the racing takes place in Europe, apart from some early season ones in North America. In the, in the USA and in Canada, so they need a base, and they've got one here in Austria. Uh, the American team's very happy, the uh, resort itself is very happy, some Austrians are not very happy to have the Austrians sponsoring and helping out their arch rivals, the Americans, but uh, nonetheless, here they are, and they're having a fantastic time, and there's good conditions here and good facilities for the US team. Um, I've had a little ski uh, with Michaela. I found it uh, hard to keep up, but I'm glad to say I just about managed to. Obviously, uh, she's putting in a lot of turns, and I'm just doing my best to keep up, but I do. And a uh, fantastic technique she has, as you can see here. Obviously not doing the gates at the moment, just doing a free run. Well, lovely girl. She's here with her mother, who uh, watches most of her racing and uh, obviously is supervising her education because at 16 she still has to continue with her studies. And uh, I think, quite frankly, we will be hearing a lot more about her in the future. I'd like to get another podium, but we'll see. I have to keep focusing on training and the results will come if I'm training well. I'm just always trying to pick up my tempo, going in between the gates and trying to get, get to the next gate faster because then you get to the finish faster. Well, there are so many things I'm working on, it'd be hard to describe, but um, I mean, always trying to stay forward and balanced on my skis is one of the main things. Um, in terms of the snow around the Alps, um, as I mentioned, beautiful blue sky here today. Um, the Austrian Alps, as I'm sure you know, has had fantastic snow conditions this winter. Lech, St Anton, metres and metres of the stuff. Uh, resorts cut off earlier on this month. Uh, we've had not quite as much snow here, um, but we also had extremely high winds. So a lot of the snow here in Obergurgel and in nearby Solden has actually blown away. But still very good conditions uh, on piste. And uh, well, it's set to be like this for the rest of the week, which is great. So good clear skies. Uh, no fresh snow forecast, which uh, well pleases the US race team here at the moment because they want to get on with training and uh, racing, not sitting in their apartments watching the snow come down. So they're pleased about that and also pleased that the wind has dropped too. As I mentioned, other parts of Austria have had good conditions. And quite frankly, it's the same all the way across the Alps at the moment. Um, down in France, well again the record snowfalls they were having earlier on, they eased off in good conditions there. Uh, a lot of the resorts actually had more snow uh, before Christmas than the whole of last season put together, so great conditions there at the moment. Um, same in Switzerland, great conditions. Cross Montana, one of my uh, favourite little resorts there in the Valley, um, they've got great snow levels there, about three and a half metres at the top, which is good for the resort. And of course, it's a south facing resort, so uh, when the sun comes out, it really is a lovely place to be and great views across the valley. Um, Italy again. Good conditions, um, really pretty much all over Italy. They've had the same sort of snowfall, so good stuff there. Um, elsewhere in Europe, well, the Pyrenees, I'm afraid, not doing so well. Um, they haven't had anything like the record snowfalls that we've had in the Alps. Um, some of the resorts in Andorra got about 20 centimetres uh, on the bottom runs and about 65, 70 centimetres on the top runs. Uh, but it has got a bit colder, which has at least allowed the, uh, the snow cannons to work. So they're uh, pumping out snow overnight as they can uh, to uh, top up the piece there as well. But good snow up in uh, Norway and Sweden, up in those areas, they've had some good snow. And um, I'm delighted to say, that um, the USA has finally, finally had some snow. As you know, it got off to a good start in the winter, and then it really has been very poor indeed uh, in December and early this month. But uh, good snow there now at the moment. Um, 
Vale Resorts, uh, which is one of the resorts we go to at Planet Ski. Uh, they've had some fresh snow in the last two or three days or so, so people there are happy. Uh, Michaela here actually, and uh, well, her mother who's here, they actually come from Vale Resorts, as do some of the staff here working with her. Lindsay, her physio, she comes from Vale, and they're all pleased to hear that there's a bit of snow over there. And uh, I think more is set to come as, as well. Uh, further north in Canada, well, they've had good snow this season. Uh, they haven't had the drought that the USA has had. Good snow there. Whistler, yeah, plenty of snow. Fernie, a friend of mine over there, sent me an email a couple of days ago saying they've had some good snow too. So all in all, uh, well, it's looking pretty good, really, for uh, the middle of January, and uh, things are looking up. Um, as I said, doing this report from the Austrian Alps, um, I'm pleased to say uh, later, uh, the next Planet Ski Snow Report you'll see will actually come from Sochi in Russia. Uh, I'm off there in a few days' time to have a look at conditions there and most importantly look at the preparations going on for the Winter Olympics which uh, take place in 2014 and the huge, huge developments taking place in Russia. $15 billion being spent on five different ski resorts all being pretty much built from scratch. So they're looking to the future, 10, 15, 20 years time, who knows, we may all be skiing in Russia. Anyway, for the time being, from the Erstel Valley and Obergurgel in Austria, this is James Cove for Planet Ski News.